Alrighty, welcome back. We're on Jim's car again. It's Sunday fun day. And a fun day it is. Jolene woke up at 10 again. She got her hair done. Did a good job, Amanda. You, actually, I'm best job you've done yet, I think. Like, amazing. She'd come home. She looked just like an angel when she walked to the door. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to... That's uh, Jolene's sister. Jolene's sister cuts her hair. And she did an amazing job. We've got the floor sitting on there. That's just the metal pan that we put in. Me and Jim done it that day. There's the pattern right there. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to finish this side. I still got to put the mounts in. I'll show, I didn't show that on the other side. I put the mount in, but it did not show putting the bolt and the nut in. Uh, so what I'm going to do right at the present second, try to get it all done in one video is uh, I'm going to, where I can see the lines on the other side right at the present moment, I'm going to take the tape. I'm going to take the tape and just try to match it up somewhat so it looks somewhere in the same vicinity as that side. That's all. And if it changes, that's okay. That's okay. It's allowed to. The only thing I'm in control of is myself. These are guesses. These are guesses. These are not for shores. And when it's your project, you're allowed to guess whenever you want to. That's called freedom. Freedom! And doing what you want to do, I consider freedom. That's what I consider freedom. Doing as you please. Not doing what someone else says, but doing what you want. There we go. And that's just a guess. Like, I'm just guessing. Just so when I go to put the tape on to mark it where we want it, I think I'm in the vicinity. And that's the, basically about the end of it. I'm going underneath now. I'm going underneath now. I had to think about that a little bit before we come out here. Me and Jolene, come, I come out before Jolene. And I had to think about you know, all the stuff that had to be done to try to get this floor done the quickest. And I hope that it works out for me. I hope. low on this side. Chop Fuller's head off. Ah. Can't get the hat underneath either. I guess. So when I get this all marked out, I guess the object is to get on putting the Convincing mark on that side. All right. Sharp stuff underneath there. Sharp stuff. All right. So I've got them marked out. We're going to pull this out. Take a look here quickly. Good. We're going to put this aside for a second. I've got something I got to do first. I got to take and oh, I want to thank the guy from Ohio who sent the the, the shield and the glasses. Thank you very much. You got a hold of our local Napa store, our la local Napa know-how from Metal Man Sailor Man Ohio USA. Thank you very much. We will use guarantee. We I've had one, but I messed the shield up on it. But there's a new one right there. Alrighty. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Oh, I've got to cut a hole. Got to cut a hole. Got to turn the air compressor on. That's one thing I didn't do. That's one thing I didn't do. I'll break back. Sunday's a good day for getting something done in the shop and then going, you know, after I get this done, I feel accomplished what I got done with Jim's car. I'll feel happy that I got the floor in today. And then me and Jolene will take to mowing the lawn and acting fools, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Getting stuff done. We're not sure, but if, if things keep going well, you never know. 
Uh, the old rockabilly weekend might be on. You never know. You just never know. Keep your fingers and toes crossed. It's going to be a lot of work if it is. I can tell you that right now. A lot of grass up there to mow, isn't there, baby? Oh, yeah. A lot of grass up there to mow. Turn that on. I think I should go back to work and stop talking. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it done. So I'm just going to blow a hole in where the mount is. If anybody's not seen this yet, this is exactly what I did on the other side. I come in here. and blow a hole through this right here for a mount. That happened like on the other, just exactly on the other side happened too. Come off. And all I'm doing is looking down to the mount hole, I'm trying to line up. Do. Can't see that one very good, but I can almost tell if my hole's lining up the way the sparks are going through the bottom hole. Almost, I said. Yeah, good time to kick out. If you know what I'm trying to say, I'm done with that. Shut that off. You die grinder. I don't think that jack's holding that door anymore. I don't know what happened there. If someone let it off or what, but I may let it off, but I don't think so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> mounts. I had a piece of rubber right over here. I want to check this one. This is the one I cut wrong for the other side last time. I cut a little bit long and they're hard to cut when you cut it a little bit too long because if you can't hold it when that chop saw, I wouldn't suggest you would. You could hacksaw it off. But this, I heard a lot of people say hockey puck. This is totally different than hockey puck. For one thing, it's got a hole in it. And the second thing, it has, it's, it's, it's a rubber. Like it, it when on the transmission mount and when I put it in there, you can see it squish. A hockey puck, I, I, prob I can't see uh, much of a, of a mount for a hockey puck that would be called a, a lift. <laughs> There's no cushion to it, I wouldn't think. No cushion to it, I wouldn't think. But who knows? What do I know? Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Get these big, big turds of sneakers on your feet. And Wacky with the steel toe, eh? All right, I'm gonna cut a couple of these off. And I think I know the length. I think I know the length. Go there for the first one. Scooby Doo. Now, at any point in time, that fits in there nice like that. We also can washer it. That's another nice one. This one fits a little tighter than that one. So what I'm going to do is, oh yeah, yeah, get. The, I'm just going to I'm going to cut another one. I'll make it just a little bit more, and I'll put it on the back side. So I'll do with that one. 
And at any point in time, the car can be, you can go underneath the car there and jack that mount up and put more underneath of it. You can put another, uh, we put a washer underneath one. You can double washer it. Um, if you don't know, these cars are put together with shims. They're, you know, they're all shimmed up. You had to do the work. If you took the front end off a car, you'd be scared to put it back on because everything is not exactly like it is now. Like everything is, if it, what can I say? If you go to put a fender on, there's only one hole to put it on now. But when you, when you put these cars together, there's shims everywhere and there's clips that go back and forth. You really have to start at the door and get that door gap going good there and the sill going good and then put your front end on. It's a, you know, it's a process. And, some, and when you take a front end off of something, an old car, be prepared <laughs> to spend a little time to get it fit right. Be prepared. That's the back one, this is the front one. Get a little tighter fit on that one. It's not even fit in there real good now. And at any time, these can be moved and put more in, put less in, whatever. Not well less if you want to. Yeah, sure. But where it fits right now, I'm thinking that should be good. I'm just trying to line that up. I've got two bolts right here. Left them long. Left them long. You can try to bolt up through. Bottom here. Put a nut on it. I just let it hang. What I do, just let it hang. And then I'll come with the welder and tack that on there so it don't go anywhere. Then it has a nut there so you can bolt the body down, just like the back one. That old saying where you, <laughs> I should have a look. Nope. <laughs> Not going there. Not right yet. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get the welder going. Six, six. Turn her on. Gas is on. Now, as I have that, the nut hang, the bolt hanging there by the nut just freely, that tells us, or that tells me, that we'll be able to put the bolt up at it through any time and be able to screw that in there and mount it because it fits right now. And it's just hanging there. So, I, 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 me, I'm thinking it's in place. Well, I know it's in place, I guess. Yeah. This is what I had to do on this side before I put the floor down. Uh, ground. I didn't put that on, did I? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Right here. I got it. I got it. One for me, boys. I remembered. One for me. One for me. There was a lot of good compliments on the, on the, th on the gas problem. Uh, there was one guy that said it the best, I think. Uh, he was talking about if the car is whirling over like that, you know that it's, it's flooding. It's either the float or what's that other thing he said? Power valve. Power valve. Jolene's the winner. <laughs> On a floor. On a floor. Just because you put the beads in it and, and put the round thing in it does not mean you are you have put in strength in the floor and it's going to stay there. It does not mean that. All it means is, as you stretch the metal and you're hoping that it makes it stronger. Because you can very easily ruin it by welding when you weld it up. If you do not weld it up right, like you're welding the outside of a car, you'll have a ping in that floor. I will guarantee you, if, that's what I'm saying, I'm guaranteeing you, you will get the ping in the floor if you warp the floor, if you decide not, or decide not to go slow and, and weld it on easy.
So what I'm saying is you can ruin the floor. I mean, we can make nice floor pans all you want. You can ruin it by welding it in. If you do not weld it in right. And what I mean by right is not overheating it and warping it up. That's what I mean by right. And it really... Nothing worse than getting in and going boom on the floor, right? Of uh, nothing worse. Not in my opinion, anyways. Alrighty, we got our nuts welded down. I'm gonna weld one more on that. Here we go. That's it for that. We're gonna shut that off. Just going to leave those there because now when Jim gets his car back, he'll know exactly where the, where the mounts are and where the bolts are. And he can unbolt it and put in the size of length bolt that he needs for that application. What I have to do now is I have to trace the lines off at the bottom and punch all the holes in and cut this in half and get all the get all my marks done. Finish this off. It's good, I got my marker. No, I'm just the just same things before. Tracing these lines so I know where to punch all the holes in to weld it down. There's a good box of match on last night. Uh, 160 pounder, uh, the heavy, or 160 pounder champion Kraus uh, fought a, a guy from Mexico. I can't exact, exactly remember his name, but the guy from Mexico that he fought, he never, I don't think he won a round, but he showed some heart. He fought the whole way, and uh, yeah, he showed some heart. What a guy. Um, even Kraus would have to be proud of him. He, he fought, you know. And like I said, he didn't win a round, but he fought some hard. And uh, you can't take anything away from um, anybody that leaves it all on the table like he did, like, in my mind. And, uh, yeah, it's quite a fight. And just for the sake of the other guy not giving up and showing more heart than I've ever seen, <laughs> basically. He probably felt like a champion after he was done, that's for sure, even though he did not win. <laughs> He probably felt like a champion. He acted like one. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you have to do in life, you know what I mean? Just act. Like you know, you're a champion, you know what I mean? Alrighty, the front, we're gonna cut this one in half. I know that. Because that's what we did on the other side. That's why I know that. And if it's not center, I'll fix it with the plasma cutter when I cut it. All right, let's do some holes. Basically, we want to try to mimic the other side. And what I mean by mimic is try the same. Jolene looks amazing today. Thanks, babe. Just thought about it. I only, <laughs> I only do what my brain told, tells me to do, and that's what it told me to do. It's good to get back in the shop and go for it. That's what I'm doing. I'm going for it. I'm going to try to do it today. I'm going to finish this floor pan today. Uh, Jim's car is going to get a little bit more work out of me. We're going to go for the sills after we get the floor in it. And then I'm going to kiss it a night goodbye. <laughs> right? I'll kiss it goodbye. And then Jim can have his fun with it. That's good. Keeps everybody busy. I think that kicked out, did it not?
this, this Thursday, or this, the kids are getting out of school. I have to go pick a young fella up in wherever. School, I'm not going to say, just because you never know. And uh, now, now the principal wants me to come early to see all the young people and give them, have a talk with them. And uh, that was a good, that was, made me feel good. It did, made me feel good. I know my legs underneath there, and I'm gonna move it. On these holes, you know, it might seem like a simple thing to weld that hole and connect it to that square tubing and make it stay down. Well, it's, it's not, it is easy if you think about it. If you weld it right, it is easy. But if you don't weld it right, you'll have a problem with these sticking, sticking down. And how do I know? Because I've done it. Basically what I like about, what, or what I do with these, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this with that. Basically what I do with these is I put the wire right in the center of the hole. I let it build a puddle right in the center of the hole, try to keep it there, and then slowly go around and let it try to touch the edge of the metal to, to make it stay. But plunk right, you, I, don't start on the edge of the metal. I mean, I'll plunk it down or try to hold it down that way. Plunk one on the edge of the metal and, and hit the square tubing. But you really have to concentrate on the rest of them. That you put the, the wire in the center, hit the square tubing, build that puddle. When you get that puddle going, then run it around and touch your metal all the way around that side. And that's, that's what I suggest. I'm going to cut this one in half, I know. But... I have to have a place where I can weld it. On the other side, I had to uh, take it off and I ground, I took a line, drew a line and ground it on both the same. This way here, I'll cut it down the middle and I'll have a place to weld it. Learning from the other side is what I'm doing. Learning from the other side. That was, that was close. Also, welding this floor up, you don't want to go bang, 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 bang. You don't, don't want to do that. You'll end up warping your floor up again, then you'll have a. You want to do that. Weld it up like you weld the outside of a car. Move around. Move around. Try to keep the heat down. That's basically about it. Yeah, remember, that's a flat sheet of metal. Just with a couple bends in it. Nothing more, nothing less. 18 gauge. I always like to get a hit with a hammer after I'm done with it too to make sure it goes down tight. When it's red, when it's red, the metal's red and you're welded it, you can move it a little bit. That's when you can move when it's bright red. And when I weld it up and have that red spot there, I like to hit it with a hammer just to make sure that it's nice and tight down the square tubing. And I hit it on top of the weld. Not the, not the metal itself. don't look bad you know Jim give me that idea 
He said, don't, don't forget about your lines. I kept it. Right? He kept the word, don't forget about your lines. When I t- pick it up, he told me not to forget my lines. Um, I'm getting rough here this morning, aren't I? Huh? Getting rough here this morning. Putting the headlock on it, holding it down, and I'm going to cut it. That's what I'm going to do. Did I? Take the slag off it. Not much slag on it, to be honest with you. Grab the grinder. Easier to knock it off than grind it off. Whatever you can knock off, that is. That's the only downfall of a plasma cutter. This is the upside. No, this this is the upside. No, it's the bottom side, sorry. Sorry, don't get confused with me.
you basically got to go around your metal. You basically got to go around it and take it off, take off the slag because it'll hold up on your car. It'll, it'll mess you up in what you're doing. Uh, da -da -bum -bum. Me and Jolene will probably do this one first because it looks the easiest. I'm sweating all outdoors. All outdoors, just, just indoors. <laughs> Let's do that. Just want to straighten this one out a little bit. It looks okay, but just want to straighten it to make my eye feel better. Good enough. Let's look at the other two over here. We just stopped probably two inches from either side. That's fine. You ready to rock and roll? Mm -hmm. Let's rock and roll, baby. That's going down. I'll put my other glove on. Ah. Come on. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. My, my assistant here. <laughs> um, roll, roll that in. We rolled it right just a minute now. We rolled it right on the center of the tape we did. We give her down a, a little squeezy on her. We did. Not too much, just because it takes it too much out of shape. And here we go. Oh, 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 just a minute now. It feels tighter. Yeah, I got it too tight probably. Go ahead. We'll get this one done and then we'll... All right. Good. So we'll know not tighten it down this tight this time. You can see how it turned it. See how it rolled it quite heavy. We want to do that again. We can, but it's just, it makes it hard on everybody. Done it, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it again. Yeah. Beautiful. Just like you. <laughs> ah. Got to move this. Sitting up against the... Alrighty, here we go again. Second. Go for it. Good. Too much again. Yeah. Notice that? Yeah. Wait. Beautiful. This one. This is just a simple task. Anybody can do this. This is just a simple task. Let's face it. Let's do this one. Wipe it off. I'll do it with my glub my gloves. Get a rag right there. This is the underneath. You can see how I didn't take the slag off that side. That would hold that up on that cross member. Gotta get that off. Missed it. Anything that holds you off your 
where you want to go. You got to get it off. Or you want to get it flat. Gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Tape it off and then go with the tape, or try to, best we can. And all I'm going with those lines right here, but that's what I'm going with my line with. We don't care about the lack line. We're going with the dots. Then we're going with this side on this one. Man. Yeah. Didn't like that. It moved on me. We're going to go with it anyways. Chad, he's sweating. <laughs> He's sweating to the oldies this afternoon. Turn on some music. Sweating to the oldies. Father said something to me good yesterday or the other day, and I, and I remembered it. I recalled it. I listened to it. I thought of it. And I'm going to show you just a simple thing. How old are you? I'm, I'm 50. I'm going to turn 50 in August. I'm 49 right now. There's 50. There's 50. See how long the tape is? See how long the tape is? I'm from 50 down. How long do I expect to live? I think a, a good life would be 80. That's how much life I got left. Right from there to there. I've already spent all that life right there learning. So the rest of this life right to there, I'm going to spend it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to spend it. Just like that, I'm going to spend it. And I suggest that everybody else take the old tape measure, lay her down on the floor and take a look. See what you think. How are you going to spend the rest of your time? And how I'm going to spend mine? Trying to get better every day. All right, baby, I need your help. I need your love. Yes, baby? I'm just setting this up. Yeah, sure. Sure. Are you ready? Yep. Let's rock and roll, baby. That thing moving. All right, just a sec. Just, all right, keep going. Just go slow. Give me up here. Woo! Woo, baby! I'm on a wheel. I'm on a roll. Teamwork. Teamwork! Good. How are you going to spend her? A few. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love it. You know why I love her so much, boys? With you, she says. She knew the right answer. She knew the right answer. Yep. Go ahead. Ooh, go ahead. There we go. Good. Got a little jiggy on that one. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. All righty. This 
is what we got going on. This is what we got going on. I'm going to get a... And if it's a little squirrely, it does not matter. It's a floor pan. It's getting covered up with a carpet. You know, if we were doing a... <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe. No, it's not hard to believe. Uh, it's not hard to believe at all. But I've never... I don't think I've restored a car that cost... Yeah. I've never done a $100,000 car before. Not even close. Not even close. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know what it means. I'm cheaper than the rest. <laughs> Not easy, just cheaper. Affordable. What? Affordable. Yeah, affordable. Practical. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go get a rag. Practical. I wouldn't feel right about that. I just feel, just, I'm the kind of person that thinks, um, That money should not control what you're building, I guess. Money does not should not control it. It's not really art. Money's controlling it. <laughs> to me, it's not art. Money controls it. <laughs> there we go. Nice and pretty, just like Joe Wee. What I'm going to do is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Now we know that's in there. It's welded in there. That's why that one's covered over on that side. That one's going to be covered on that side. But they're welded in there. So we're full, good to go. Bolts hanging down. You can see exactly where it goes. I'm going to grab the other floor pan. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just pluck that one in right now. But I'm going to grab the third arm. Turn it on. We'll get you in a second. Just gonna stick it on for now. Just gonna stick it there. Just, uh. That's what we want. We want that pressure. We, we, we want that pressure of that floor pan. Or I do, I want that pressure. I'm still able to move it. If I connect it at one point, you can see how I moved it. You, I can still move it. It's really hard to <laughs> get in here with this. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Ah. Well, I have my, I gotta get my hammer. Gotta get my hammy. Gotta get my hammy. My gloves on. Where'd I take that to? Way over here. Turn that off. You can use you can use air on the floor too if you like. If you want to keep it cooled down, which you can. I know it seems like a like a big precaution, but it's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna check this thing over for attack it. Everything's looking good, everything's looking good, everything's fantastic. Still red. Fred, where'd I put that? It's in my hand. It's in my hand! That's hot there, obviously. Don't want to go back near that. It's hot. Don't want to go near that. I want to go way over here or something. You know, way over here.
Oh. Carry it along. Good welds, good hot. Reason I'm going across there, we've got this line right here to hold us. I'm only tacking it and the heat will go up instead of coming back more, more than likely. That's what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Everything's down tight. We love it. Might be able to do one here. See if the heat's going. Later down, Ron. Beautiful. Trying to keep the heat off it. We can touch it here. Put my helmet on, I guess. Missed it three times. I missed it three times, four times. <laughs> Put my helmet down again. <laughs> Shit. Come on, Chetty. I did warm her up. Warm her up, make her stick better. Good. Yeah. Good, we're cooking, we're cooking with gas now. So that front piece is down. It's locked down now. What you want to do with that piece, have it locked down there now. Make sure I keep going around it, keep going around it, and keep moving around. That's what's going to happen. Just keep moving around. I would never weld them all the way to cross. You'd warp that floor again. Then you'd have another ding-dong of a floor. We don't want to do that. We're trying to fix it. We're trying to fix it. Yeah, karate. Get her bent up there a little bit, that's all. Now we'll try to get her down on the floor. Yeah? Now I want to come ahead just a little bit on this corner. weld it until it's right. You know what I'm trying to tell you. If I line this corner back up, I should be okay to, to be able to move it around. <sighs> I want to be able to move it around just like that. Now, make sure 
that's back a little bit there on that side. Here we go. Here we go. I want to go back a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Back on that. Do, 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 do. attack that one there just because right beside the heat There's a little bit of breeze blowing through there. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Not as beautiful as you, though, baby. That's for sure. That light's nice. I like it. Good job. here first. Change your arms, Holtzy. All right. I will then. Just missed it right a little bit. Me hitting that also disrupts where the molecules are going. They don't know where they're going. Quite critical that those spot welds hold. I don't know, critical, but. <laughs> it's nice to make sure that she's stuck. That's all I'm saying. Here a little bit.
So you want that tension trying to hold that floor up. Makes a good tight floor is what it does. Makes a good tight floor. What are we at for time, sweetheart? 56. 56? Yep. Ah! ah. <laughs> I need to make a little piece for this here. A little piece of this here. What I'll do is I'll take a piece of cardboard, make a two inch piece, come all the way along here. I'll tack it on this, and then I'll tack it on the floor. But right at the present moment, you can see how the floor is going in. <laughs> I'm just going to do it slowly, not slowly, well slow, yeah, like that, possible, to make it as strong as possible. As strong as possible. Are we drawing for a hat or a shirt? Yep. Okie dokie, here we go, we're going to draw for a hat or a shirt. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I've managed to put that in there. I'm going to have to go along, make sure it's all down tight. Make sure she's all down tight. And when I hold it down tight, that's when it gets pressure on it. We put the stretch in it. So you can see how it was rolled like that. Now we're getting it to lay flat. We're definitely putting pressure on it. You, best, you basically want to start doing that. If you're not doing that on your floors, is moving around, you will end up warping your floor, you know, counting on, what did I say, counting on um, the, the ribs and that stuff to stop your from floor from warping is not enough. You have to pay attention not to put too much heat to it. Move it around, like I'll go up here and start tacking now, maybe a couple times, then I'll come back down to here at the end and uh, continue on. But basically, you want to get everything down as tight as possible and fitting good. And that's what we're getting. That looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, it does. Do you want me to move that off there? Yeah, sure. Get a nice, get a good visual. I'll open that up. We'll get a good visual of what the floor looks like. We're not completely finished. No, we're not. But I am going to continue welding that up. I will weld that up today. And I will make that look like this side. Finish welding it. It will not take long to let the heat get out of it. Uh, me and Jolene are going to go to mowing the lawn and having fun. But that's basically, basically how when I was at Jim's place and I was looking at him and I was telling him that I would square tube it square it up and put a flat floor on it that's basically oh that was close basically what tell, that's exactly what i was thinking in my brain when i was looking at it, his house um the floor i don't know you couldn't ask for much more could you um if your employee you know put your floor in you know in, in a day basically what we have in that in time is probably about eight hours if my employee come back to me and said i got the floor all done what else you want me to do man I would give him a pat on the back and say thank you very much and uh, try to motivate him, motivate him again. And that's what I do to myself. I try to put it in as fast as I can and I basically motivate myself to see how fast I can do it and that sort of stuff. That's basically it. I try to motivate myself. I try not to need anything. I just want to, yeah. I'm happy with it. Just got to finish welding it up, getting it down tight, and then I think Jim will be happy with it. And then we're going to move on to the sills. That's going to be another, another one, two. Well, each sill will take, will take. Well, we're looking at probably four videos for that, just basically because we're going to take, we're going to have to make it. We're going to have to put it on. We're going to have to weld it and cut the bottom off it. And we got two of them to do. And as you can see, where the floor comes out here, it's not good here either. So we're going to have to replace the place, the top of the sill. We got a little bit of a quarter panel to make on the other side. And I'm thinking that we're going to have a little bit of a quarter panel to make on this side. We'll see where it goes. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, you can do that on your hot rod. You can do exactly what I did there. And you can do it different. But basically, I'm showing you that 
nothing is po impossible if you don't if you want to go for it. Um, a rusty old uh, rusty old car with a no floor in it. That, to me, that's that square tubing and and using uh, whatever you got and uh, using a little bit of freedom. And freedom is doing exactly what you want, not listening or to anybody. Just doing exactly what you want. That is freedom. Long as it's 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 in the right direction. That's basically the, what matters. Long as it's in the right direction, and the right direction is good. If you're not doing good, what are you doing? Right? Mm -hmm. So this is on a video from yesterday. Okay. Going to Halls How beautiful Harbor. Nova Scotia is? Yep. Halls Harbor is a beautiful site. We want to thank you for all the nice comments. If you could ever get a chance to come here, I suggest you do. Um, there's lots to do, you know. May have a vacuum leak somewhere, Chad. We also thought of that. Thank you very much. There was a lot of good comments on that. You know, vacuum leak, the float. Uh, what's that valve called again? Power valve. The power valve in the Holly carburetor. And it has to be something to do with the carburetor because obviously it's dumping gas in it. It's got to be something to do with the, car the, um, the fuel pressure. I'm, I'm thinking it's not too high because it never had too high fuel pressure before. So why would it have it now? Anyways, that's Jim's floor from rust to riches <laughs> in eight hours. If I can do it, you can do it. And uh, that's how I would fix a rusty old floor in an old car that I wanted to get on the road. That's what I would do. If I was looking to make it better than that, that's what I would do. I'd finish welding it, pick it up off the body, turn it over, I finish welding it, I grind it and fill it, and that right there would be a show floor. And basically that's where it starts. It starts there, and then you just make it better, just keep making it better and better and better and better. And you can picture if I went around there, I wouldn't have to, you know, do the floor here, but I could weld that all up so and grind that all off nice up and by the tow boards. When I flip the car upside down, I could weld that, like, you know, tack that and where it, where the where the seam is, I could cut it off and make it fit nice, weld it and fill it, and fill it on this side. And you'd have a floor that you could never tell that was ever done, or you know it was done, but you would it would be a floor that you could show. And that's the start of one. We're just not going to go that far. We're going to use it. Um, and basically what I would do if I was Jim, uh, to me, I'd get the sills done. I'd go, I got some crown over there. It's crown protection. It's, we use it. It works. It did a fantastic job. Spray some crown penetrating on. Not penetrating, but uh, we do the... We do the rust protection property, that's what we do. And that stuff films up, looks nice, goes on like a nice clear fluid. I'd spray the hole underneath of that and be good to go. Who got a shirt or hat? Sam, Sam Hendricks. And we did check the vacuum. There was a one on the PCV valve in the back that didn't have a, a good fit, so I did put a clamp on that. But uh, over and out.